Oh, welcome Sagittarius. This is going to be, ooh, hello. Your um, timeless reading. This is a, someone you're not speaking to with or speaking with right now. Okay, so you may not be speaking to this person. No contact. All right, it looks like you are over something. Okay, or soon will be. Mm. Somebody could have been like hurtful with their words or said some things to you. I do feel with that six of swords, you're moving on. For a lot of you guys are recovering from a situation. Um, somebody here could be spying on you though, trying to get more information on you, but I feel like you're very unhappy and unsatisfied with the situation as to why you left. Things were making you feel really sad or disappointed or hurtful, or maybe that's why you stopped talking to them, okay? I feel like for some of you guys may have tried to resolve an issue, but it, it, an issue kept coming up with this person from what I'm getting. Ooh, we have that Knight of Cups, we have the Sun, the Eight of Swords. We're gonna clarify all this for you. I feel like this person was very happy <laughs> with you, um, but they could see you going cold now and being very serious. Looks like they're wanting a second chance or wanting to come in because things went MIA. Okay. There's more clarity coming in, I feel, about the situation for sure, or honest communication. But we're going to go ahead. Ooh, I saw the Seven of Swords. Did you see that? The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Someone could have got caught cheating or lying here too. All right. That just popped out right there. Um... Your heart though, your heart is so big. I'm seeing that here, Sag. Very big heart you have. I feel like there's just a very big disconnect. This could be a long like relationship or something you invested in a long time. Maybe it's a marriage or separation here or someone that you go back and forth with. But either way, there's a lot of challenging emotions here, okay? Are, are feeling an indecision, restricted. It's just a very uncomfortable, feeling or a situation and it's bringing in some trapped feelings but i do see something coming through so let's go ahead and clarify let's get in your energy here remember the moon is all about uncertainty too yeah see something here you're just unsatisfied with Phew. sorry guys nine of cups energy oh man this could be a family dynamic where there's children involved. That's why there may be going back and forth with this energy because it's like a commitment or something with family. Getting that for some. So there's like a want to like fix things, but it's just feeling really unhappy. It's wanting more. It's more wanting that, you know, equal give and take, that love, that genuine, like I, like I feel like somebody's just tired of the fights or the same thing over and over again. This person is coming in with mixed signals. They're either, you know, they're, this is a, definitely a stagnant situation. They may not be talking to you or being open to talk. You may be dealing with somebody who's very immature on how they think or how they speak. Could be other energies involved influencing this. That's why there's a challenge, maybe gossip or talking or however. That's what I'm seeing. And the Knight of uh, Pentacles energy is saying that something's very unclear with this person. They're still up in the air about this. A lot of confusion. But we have the moon. I feel like for a lot of you guys with the moon card, this can be some somebody being manipulative, um, deceptive, deceptive. Yeah, this, there could be a lot of deception here. But I'm showing an in, instability and inconsistency with this person like a lot and i feel like you are needing to believe your intuition here about what you're feeling okay because if this person has a sharp tongue or likes to criticize you or hurt you in any way with that dawn of swords because remember the dawn of swords is not nice when it's in the reverse it's very has a sharp tongue it's very hurtful it's destructive they overthink, they create these illusions in their head, you know, and they're not even true. This is a type of energy that can really pierce your heart with their words. 
I feel like you're seeing clearly though on how this person operates as to why you're sit sitting still kind of going MIA because now you're turning into a mystery here Sagittarius you are there see that high priestess they don't know what you're gonna do they don't know what you're gonna do they have no clue they are thinking this is a break and that they could come right in they probably think that they won I don't know but I feel like for you to be honest, I do see is that this person is going silent. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Energy doesn't have to be those energies. But I do see someone here either acting like everything's fine, that everything, they're good on their own or without you or whatever, these little games that they're playing because they're immature, coming up immature. But they're bothered. They're very bothered. They're doing this, I feel, on purpose. And I'm not trying to, like, maybe this is a game that they play or a pattern. I feel like you're just bored of it, though. There's conversation coming in in the near future. There's truth. There's justice. Things are weighing heavy in the near future to where I feel like this person, if they're playing these games okay or allowing other energies to interfere in your connection and they're easily influenced or they have people around them that like they like agree with everything that they say i feel like those are the people that they go to they're not going to go to somebody who's going to be like you know against them they're going to go someone who's agreeable with them so this doesn't even help whoever these people are if this is a third party situation then they're, you know, then they're being a cheater in a way. But there is, I feel like there's a lot of gossip, a lot of talking. And, but once these people get bored with hearing them talk, that's when they start coming back for some. There is a choice and there's justice. And... There's collaborating and coming to an understanding in the near future from what I'm seeing here, okay? I really feel like this person's really pushing you away, though, like, emotionally. Really pushing you away. Like, yeah. Because I do see is, like, you're not, you are going to stand true to yourself. You're going to face problems head on. You're not going to allow someone to treat you this way or talk to you about you. You're a person who speaks up because you're not scared to lose this person. Okay, you're you're seeing how they operate and how they act. So if they are going to continue to do this and not have a mature conversation about this, I do see you standing your ground. But I and I do see you being very true with that justice card, not only to yourself but with uh, with this person or others around you. You have the justice. That's powerful. This is saying like, hey, you're not messing around. This isn't a game to you. Right, so this is making final big decisions for yourself and standing in your truth and trusting the universe here that things will be go uh, restore balance back in your life, because someone will get the consequences of their actions if they continue to be like this, because they're they're not doing the right thing, and in the near future I feel there's a choice here and it kind of scares them a bit, it scares them a bit. They act all tough and everything, but they're not. So I feel like here something balances out in the near future because you're about to release this person. You're about to live okay without this person. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. But I do see is that you're loving. You have a big heart. Okay. You really, really do. But there's like, there's this feeling of, how do I say it? You're exhausted. So I feel like this person's this person is not going to take away your happiness. You're still going to do what you're going to do. You're still going to go to work or you're still going to, you know, enjoy your hobbies. You're still going to live your life because whatever this person says or do to you, it's not true. They're doing that because they're mad and they're playing games and they're talking to whoever it is who's agreeing with them, which is not even real friends anyways, it feels like, okay, are just people that don't want conflict with this person. So maybe that's why they continue to talk to this person. Either way, Sag, I think you're you're good. Oh, you know you're good. I'm gonna grab a spirit message though. I am gonna grab more messages and see what they're not telling you, like what messages they want to tell you or they haven't sent yet or said yet to you. So let's see. Yeah, see, 
I'm so done with this person. They play a big game, but they're not, they don't do it for long term. All right, the more that you know your worth, the more that you are confident within yourself and stand in your truth, the more that they get weak and they're the ones that budge in the end. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important. I'm reading this backwards. Sorry, guys. I'm going to come sweep you off your feet. I Okay, I'm, I know that I want you in my future. I'm working on making the proper plan. Someone's planning to still have you in their life. Okay, but I feel like they're going to see a big change in you here of like you being okay because it's not fair how you're being treated and there needs to be a conversation, right? So someone that you're not speaking to, that's fine. I feel like this is an energy that speaks their final truth and like, and it, and like you're really done. It's like, this is what I'm seeing here. You're done. It's like you speak your truth. You're like, I'm just going to say this and this is the last time I'm gonna say it. And it's like, you're releasing them at this point because it's exhausting. And it helps you move into these calmer waters. This person may come back with some words, but you're used to that, or you're seeing that before, or you dealt with people like that before. So it doesn't really affect you. It's just like, okay, let me recover from this. Let me move on now. That's where I feel like you're going because someone here is not going to play a game with you and keep you stuck. You are about conversations and taking action and being respectful to one another. So that's why I feel like this person here doesn't realize like what they that you're about you're shifting into something that they're not going to expect. You see? All right, so uh yeah, Sag. Yeah, Sag. You're Sag. <laughs> Sagittarius. Man, he has stopped being, have such a big heart sometimes. All right. Let's see. Let's get more about this relationship. I feel like I ruined everything. I feel terrible for hurting you. Fight arguments, conflicts. Yeah, you're not going to play these games with them. You are the person of my dreams. You're... You're mature, you are more mature, okay? They might purposely want uncertainty. They want you to be in the dark. It's a game they play. It's immature. You know this though. I'm gonna grab a spirit message. You know this. You're worthy, you're, you're more mature than this person, emotionally, mentally, <laughs> spiritually. You are. Let it be. See, spirit got my back right here. So, so if you need to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way to proceed? When you call forth the simplest path, it appears and vice versa. Let it be, spirit is saying, right? Let it be. Let this person play this game. Let them talk. Let them however. But you stand true to yourself. You cannot go wrong when you stand true, Okay. You cannot go wrong. And Spirit is saying, make room. Create space to welcome positive change into your life. Let go of everything that doesn't align with the future you are creating. <sighs> Spirit loves you. You know what? Only time will tell, okay? So if you're wanting answers, if this person's going to contact you or something like that, let it be. All right, so that's what it's saying. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path, the path is clear if you want it to be. Continue to live your life. Continue to, like, okay, the biggest, on these clarity cards that I have, the it's one of the messages says, the biggest revenge, right, is succeeding. How to defeat toxic people is by succeeding. And then you'll really see how toxic they are when you start succeeding, okay? It just feels like this person's a, a, a comparing a lot to you too and maybe secretly kind of competition with you here, Sag, all right? But you know your worth, you're valuable, you're loving, you have a big heart. Like this, whatever this person says with this Dawn of Swords energy is not true and you know that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you guys. I hope this message helped for you, Sag. I really, really do. I'm feeling like a very strong, like masculine energy too in this reading, like who I'm connecting with also. 
Um, I know there's a lot of like more, if we're going by genders, there's a lot of, you know, um, it says on my analytics more female, but I am feeling a strong male presence, uh, masculine presence. So, I mean, know your worth, okay? <laughs> know your worth. This person's playing a game. But for the rest of you guys, I just felt like saying that for that person, you'll know who you are, or maybe there's a group of you guys. Um, but let it be, you guys. You guys are beautiful inside and out, and I love your energy so much. Don't let this person get to you, okay? So I will see you guys very soon. God bless.